Here we have a coral reef. Corals and sea anemones are members of the class Anthozoa. Anthozoa is the largest class in the phylum Cnidaria and it has over 6,000 species currently in existence. Major characteristics of anthozoans include polyploidy, which means an organism has more than two sets of homologous chromosomes, tubular bodies with hollow tentacles around the mouth, as can be seen in these pictures, and a pharynx that opens into a digestive cavity subdivided by infoldings of the gut wall. They may be solitary or colonial, and they may or may not have an exoskeleton. This is a sun coral. Like most other anthozoans, it is a substrate feeder. Watch as it sifts through the water to capture its prey. Because anthozoans are unable to move to catch their food, substrate feeding is extremely efficient. Others gain nutrition from symbiotic photosynthetic algae living within the cleft exclusively as benthic polyps, meaning they are organisms attached to the sea floor and not free to move about. Other cnidarians have life cycles that can alternate between the benthic polyp stage and another stage that allows free movement which is called the pelagic stage. There is evidence that the pelagic stage followed the benthic stage, proof that anthozoans preceded all other cnidarians. Stomphia would remains unaware of the approaching danger. But when Dermasterius comes close enough to touch it, Stomphia springs into action. In a stunning defensive maneuver, Stomphia frees itself from the rock and swims away. This is one of just a few anemones that can actually swim.